Do you guys have old countertops that need to be rejuvenated and restored? In this video, we're gonna show you step by step how to mimic mother nature and create blue pearl granite countertops from scratch. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. We're doing this over MDF that's been painted with two coats of paint and primer in one in the color suede gray. Sand with 220 grit on the edges and the surface. If you're doing this process over old laminate, solid surface, Corian, even natural stone, these slick, smooth, hard surfaces need to be pre-treated with our bonding primer. This creates that long-term tenacious bond. If you haven't seen the video on how to apply our bonding primer, go check that out and then get started on your project. We've taken our metallic powders in the colors blue, pearl, black, and white. We've mixed them in spray bottles with 91% isopropyl alcohol. We do half a bag of metallic to eight ounces of alcohol. We shake that and then we're ready to spray. We pre-spray our board with these three different shades. This gives us undertones and depth because when we pour clear epoxy, you'll see through down to some of that depth to create visual interest and realism. After you get your pre-spray done, let it dry and you're ready for the next step. When I pre-spray my metallics, I'm gonna start with my my dark colors and work my way to light. I'll go black, I'll go blue earth, and then I'll go white. Let that dry before you apply that clear epoxy. It usually takes about 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. That's a safe bet and you'll be ready for that clear. Test your spray pattern on a surface aside from your top. That way you can get it coming out of the bottle correctly and then you start your process. When you're gonna pre-spray, start with the edges. You're always gonna get drops and driplets that go sideways that don't look real, but you're gonna hide those with the upper drops. So start on the edges and then work to the field. Next step, we're gonna apply our clear stone coat countertop epoxy. This is the medium that makes everything magic. We're gonna trowel that out, we're gonna chop it, and we'll torch those bubbles out. Look at how it magnifies what's underneath it. It really starts to give it that depth. It's like a, looking through an optical lens. Use a 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. It's the perfect tool of choice to spread your epoxy and keep your thickness consistent and right. You're gonna lay out like glass when you use that trowel. We're gonna use our chop brush. This is gonna remove any of those lines in that clear epoxy from the trowel. It's also gonna help mix our material one more time and break any surface tension or touch any dry spots so the epoxy will flow. Okay guys, I got the surface chopped. It's time to brush those edges out. This is gonna create smooth edges that promote the flowing of your effects. Time to torch the bubbles out. Pro tip on torching, start your torch before you go over your piece. That way any dust, lint, or nibs and nubs that are trapped in that orifice will spit out here and not in your fresh epoxy. It's time to spray and fog our two colors. We're gonna do our silver and our cobalt blue. Remember, when you do this, you wanna have the metallic blue ready to go. The sooner that you can hit that, the better it will fracture it. You don't need a lot of paint. This is gonna create webbing and fracturing that looks like stone, and what you see through down to is going to be these effects. We're gonna hide some of these effects. That's just fine. That's part of the depth and beauty of this Blue Pearl recipe. Okay, here we go, Blue Earth. Oh, I love what this does. And don't overdo it. Just enough to start to fracture that surface is all I'm going for here. That looks cool. Holy cow, I love it. All right, and for our last trick, it's time to spray a little bit of gloss black spray paint, and then we're gonna come back with just clear alcohol. That's not gonna add any more blue to this. It's just gonna give us some high and low points. Here we go. You're gonna notice the black acts differently. Because I have some alcohol sitting on the surface, it won't quite stay put. It really starts to spread immediately. It's a cool effect, I like it, but that's what makes this recipe look real. Boy, I think I'm gonna call that. That is pretty. Hey guys, if you wanna create this blue pearl granite epoxy recipe, we have step-by-step -step directions on our website, but we put a handy link in the description below.
The alcohol is our friend. It actually pushes the color that we have on the surface away. It's opening up that window and the epoxy straight to the bottom. That's why we do those undertones. But we have some divots. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. I'm gonna touch those with my finger. That will break that surface tension and they'll lay out. Let's say you miss one or two of those. You're gonna come back the next day and you're gonna do a clear coat anyways. That next coat will lay out like glass. It lets us get that great finish and we don't have any divots because we're not adding any alcohol, any paints, and any metallics. Guys, if you found value in this color, give us a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we do a new color recipe. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video.